what let's see for example let's see for example let's see for example uh, let's see for example our next uh, let's see for example yes that's here but for our case we're going to choose the repository of my ebook remember that i have an ebook that's the repository so you have here just for you to maybe you can use it just the repository you have here all the information you have the back end you have the front end teaching how to connect your wix uh, chat with chat dbt i have all the information here the book in portuguese but i feel that you can also follow just you can follow just the you can follow just the the ebook it's all that the repository we do not want to buy the book but we are going to choose one uh, one of the the codes from this repository this one the back end so the back end you have uh, what's called wix uh, uh wix chat this one that we are going to create now so you can do like this you come here remember uh you go to the you go to the the to the back end section then you add a new module yes now you have the, a backend so you need to cop this i mean i do not advise you to i'm going to explain briefly what this does so you have here a a chat that you, um, you have here a chat for you to connect so that's the part that you 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 are talking to the uh, to the as you see your message ID channel. Uh, that's how you 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 send message to the. Uh, let me see if you even did that. I don't. Uh, let's see. I think that's okay. So let's start, for example, let's do something simpler because later we'll come back to that uh, if you need this one, this part here, because this part is used to send messages. I don't know if you if you, if you want to send messages, but uh, uh, for example, if you want to, to connect, to send messages, that's how you need this backend, like you, automatic message. For now, you are sent from your dashboard, but what about you want to send that this? But uh, let's do something simpler. Let's start from the, uh, from the back, from the front end, from the front end. So for us to start from the front end, you need to go to the master, master page. Or as an alternative, you you can, for example, there's an, uh, there is a very nice trick on Wix that you can make your chat uh, according to your page. For example, if you choose a page and you hijack, you are going to hijack the Wix chat AP, with chat application or with chat app. Uh, if you hijack from a, from a specific page, for example, if you hijack, for example, from blog, I have done that a lot. So one time I hijacked from, from it, it blog post, which means that the chat bit is going to, re, to reply just when you access a blog post. But suppose that you want to, to make sure that every page is going to have the same behavior. So you have to go to the master page JS. For, the, for you to hijack this, you have to go here. You have to, to, to go here. So you, if you click, if you click on the on the on the chat there's a name here on the corner week chat one let's call it week chat just week chat uh just with chat weeks chat uh and, the, and, and let's say and let's say uh for a for you to grab for you to hijack something from the weeks everything on weeks here is element everything on the page any 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 uh, any element is a, is a, any anything that you see in Wix is an element. You can click on it to see the ID. So you are going to hijack. For to hijack, you need to go uh, this the sign of money. Sorry, the sign of money. W. Then chat. As you see, chat. You are hijack the chat. So it means that for now on the chat is is under your control. Let me just remember one thing here because it has been a long time since I did this trick. Uh, let me go to the to the front end. Let me go to the front end. Let me go to the master. I think it was a master. 
this the specific one yeah SEM yeah, hijack here then you have to do like this you have to do let me take this one this one here See that you have to do everything on on red. Why you have to do it on on red? Because you want to make sure that everything is a, on red is a kind of hook. You say that the anything on 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 here will be executed just when you are red. Uh, that's a way to avoid your website to start working before it's it's red. Uh, yeah, uh, let me make bigger for you. Let me make bigger for you. Let me make bigger. Because yeah, uh, see that in this case here, the the is this red stuff here is 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 it's a kind of bug. I don't know why. Maybe it's TypeScript. I don't know why it's like. I don't know why that that's a mistake. That it, but it, it's not going to interfere if you work. You don't have to worry about anything. So on red, on red is uh, how you hijack this uh, how you you are going to 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 hijack this uh this, this, this so whenever someone sends a message that's how you're going to so what you wanna what you wanna you are going to take as you're going to see here the payload as you're going to see here you want to have you, you want to take this one message payload for example you want to make a kind of a, uh, let's say to see the what the person sent a message you can do like this uh, console Then you can say message. Go. Message. Payload. Message payload. It's supposed to work now. It's supposed to print for you for us. Now I ask you, I ask you to make a preview. Then I'm going to to actually to be able to print. Then if you come here, hey, then you open here. Let's see. Hey, as you can see, it's giving a kind of mistake. I don't know what. Uh, there, there. As you can see, it's work. Uh, it 